Hi, this is JD Brake, and welcome to Field Engineering again. Uh, I'm your host, and with me today is the always knowledgeable and dynamite mustache wearer, Phil Kimball. How are <laughs> you, Phil? Good morning. Good to see How you. How are you? Hey, Good. by I, the way, happy Thanksgiving. Yes, happy Thanksgiving. You know, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, and I'm just not, it's... You know, I can't, I can't even come close to that stash. But uh, fortunately, we're not here to talk about mustaches. Uh, we're actually going to focus on a very hot topic um, in zoning, and that is how to deal with zones closing and static pressure rising. And I'm specifically talking about the bypass damper. Kind of walk us through, like, what is what is the purpose of a bypass damper in zoning? Why do we need this? Well, first of all, bypass dampers have been around for many, many years. Mm -hmm. uh, prior to that time, um, they used to have what they called dump dampers. And dump dampers would just take, uh, as the static pressure would rise in a system because you're closing off dampers, mm -hmm and static pressure increases, these uh, dump dampers, or even they were called flapper dampers, uh, <laughs> they would just open and close, open and close, open yeah. and close, bang, 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 and you'd hear them in the hmm. ductwork. But they had to relieve the static pressure. And the reason for the you have to relieve static pressure is that in a constant volume HVAC system, you have a fixed static pressure. Right. In other words, your air is moving at a fixed velocity, at, at, at a design velocity, mm -hmm. at a design CFM, and at a design static pressure rate. And static pressure has to do with being able to push that air down the ductwork. Right. So, let's say uh, the static pressure design is a half inch uh, of uh, water column. Well, now we put a zoning system in this central, uh, let's say a central residential heating air conditioning, okay. and we zone off. Uh, three zones, three sections of that house. Sure. And we have electronic zone dampers, not right. to be misconstrued with bypass dampers. Right. Electronic zone dampers. And they're designed to uh, open or close the air entering into a zone being controlled by a thermostat, which goes back to a zone control panel. Right. We won't get into zone control <laughs> panels today, but a zone home... Forced air, uh, heating, air conditioning, home that's zoned needs to have bypass. Right. So traditionally, obviously, we've advanced quite a ways today with <laughs> regards right. to bypass. But traditionally, a bypass damper was a piece of pipe like this, as you can see. And it has an offset blade. Yep. In other words... The shaft doesn't go through the center of the blade. Shaft goes on the top of the blade. Okay. And it has a counterbalance. Real hmm. simple. Right. So by adjusting these weights on this counterbalance rod, I can, as the static pressure increases in the duct, and it's pushing in the direction of the airflow, this will begin to relieve. Mm -hmm. The static pressure it it actually will modulate okay so if the pressure increases this opens more as it decreases let's say zones open up right this closes now to configure this right we have to figure out where the weights have to be on the arm correct because exactly. it's not all the same in every instance and this is this is uh kind of where guys get a lot of uh, misguidance okay i have found that the best way to set up a barometric bypass damper okay. is to make sure that all the zones are open. Okay. All the zone dampers are in the open position. And your air handler is running, mm -hmm. so now you're pushing 100% of the air through all the zones. Okay. You're not restricting any airflow, and you should be at that point at the design static pressure of the system. It should be closed, right? Right. Okay. Now, this happens to be a <clears throat> bypass damper that is installed horizontally. Oh, and where do we put it? Yeah, I was just yeah, going to ask you, where the heck, do we, where the heck do we put this thing? <laughs> well, 
The concept is, is that the static pressure is going to increase on the discharge air side of the system. Mm -hmm. So we're on the discharge air planner. Right. Now, where do we want to bypass it? Hmm, good point. Yeah. Well, typically in a residential application, you have a return, a return air planner. Okay. So what we're going to do is, if the direction of airflow, and you can see we see these have an arrow on them. Yes. Yep. Gotta, you got to put them in the right <laughs> direction. So <clears throat> if this is going to go from the supply side <clears throat> yeah. into the return side, that's the direction of the airflow. Here, This is the supply side. Okay. This is the return side. So what a contractor will do, uh, and, and we'll, you, we'll simplify this. This is a horizontal furnace, and I've got a... Supply panel, okay. I got a return panel. Okay. He'll pipe this in to the supply, the main plenum, prior to any transitions, any turning vanes, he's got to get it in the main plenum. Okay. And he will then pipe this into the main return. Typically, uh, uh, it, it all depends on how much duct work you have before you start splitting off on branch runs and things, but you got to get it in the main supply, main return. Whew. Yeah. Now we get that thing mounted like that. Okay. And it's usually hard piped. If you use flex, obviously you're going to have to use straps to hold this thing because it's fairly heavy. Yeah. And by the way, they come in all different sizes. Sure. We have rectangular y options. Yeah, too, we do don't have we? rectangular. Most of the time but they they're use mostly rounds. Round. But the way they're, they're sized is if you know what the cooling tonnage is of the system, mm -hmm. then we have a chart that tells you exactly. What size bypass damper hmm. you need? Now you're never going to bypass 100% of the air uh, in a zoning system. Never. Right. So don't think, well, I I've got a 1200 CFM system, and I'm going to have to have a bypass that can bypass 1200 CFM. Absolutely not. The bypass damper formula is designed so that we will bypass up to 65% of the total CFM of the system. Because we're always going to have one zone open. Right. You never exactly. close all the zones. Exactly. In fact, when zones are satisfied, you open the dampers. You don't close them. Exactly. Um, <laughs> if you closed all the zones, then you got a real problem. This bypass damper with would be this big. <laughs> so we get this thing piped in. Okay. Now we make sure all the zones are open. Right. And we basically go to a thermostat, depending on the system, and we put it in constant fan or continuous fan mode. Okay. Now we got the air handler running. Right. All right. Now this thing is completely shut, and I got the air moving now from the supply into the return. Okay. So what I can do is this comes with this a bunch of counterweights, and I'm just oh, yeah. got a little screw there, and these things slide. Okay. All right. You got two, and you got we actually provide two. You could add more. Typically, you take them off. Seems but the primitive. further the further <laughs> you get this weight up to the top of the shaft, the less resistance is being put on the damper. Right. It's the old physics Basic thing. I didn't physics. Do, I didn't do very well. Basic busy, but, physics. Oh, yeah. You know, it's the old crowbar and, uh, <laughs> yep. and a piece of board trying to lift. <laughs> so less less weight, mm -hmm. more bring the weights up closer, very little resistance. Now, here's the trick. All the air is moving now into all of the duct work in the system. We're not blocking anything. So what you do is you bring these weights up until that blade just begins to flutter. Just flutters a little bit, okay. In other words, we've we put the weights up to a point where now it is, uh, this is actually less than what the actual static pressure is. So sure. it's gonna start to bleed some air in there. Okay. And so these things will start bouncing, they'll start fluttering like that. Once you do that, you back this off about a half an inch, and you tighten right. the other screw like that, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> anyway. Seems tedious. Until it's just closed. Yeah. And you're done. That's it. That's it. That's all you have to do. Now, as zones open and close, mm -hmm. this will react, and it will... Maintain the system static pressure by bypassing the excess of static back into the return air duct. Right. That's how bypass dampers, barometric bypass dampers work. We also 
provide a bypass damper that is convertible. Uh, Does that mean like it doesn't have a top? Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, meaning that it can be installed horizontally or it can be installed uh, vertically, here. vertically right, yeah. but the counter mechanism is different. You have right. to decide, I'm going to, let's say I have a upflow furnace and I've got a return down here and I've got the plenum up here. Well, mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to. It would. I wouldn't want to put in a horizontal because right. now I had all this pipe running everywhere. So we have it's uh, a bypass damper that is convertible. It'll work both horizontally or vertically. Okay. Now, I've been in the field for a lot of years. Mm -hmm. uh, troubleshooting zoning systems. <laughs> right. Believe it or not, uh, even though we provide fine directions, yes. we really do. Plenty, plenty. Believe it or not, I've seen bypass dampers. Like that. Uh, it's upside down. And they say, well, we can't get it adjusted. <laughs> it won't work. Yeah, it's wide open. And it'll stay wide open forever. Mm -hmm. So one thing about a bypass damper is that you need to look at the relationship of yep. the actual pipe and where that weight is. Mm -hmm. If that weight's up there like this, you know, <laughs> <laughs> well, you got an issue. You, you'll never get it adjusted. Right. So uh, read the instructions. <laughs> We've got good instructions. We do, and we have great tech support. Take too. our advice. It's easy to set these up. And there are some applications where a bypass damper simply won't fit. Right. Well, what I was going to ask you is a common question I get is, how do we deal with variable speed units with bypass damper? Will this in turn just kind of be hunting for static pressure or will this actually work with a variable, variable it, it speed unit? It will work unit? with a variable speed unit. Okay. Um, many, many years ago, I'm not going to give away my age, but <laughs> many, many years ago, a major uh, uh, equipment manufacturer came to us and said, choo you're choo. not going to be able to bypass air using a variable speed system. Okay. And we proved to them they were wrong. Oh. You can bypass air with a variable speed system. And it works just fine. Nice. Yes. Well, there we go. And it isn't trying to hunt. Yeah. Because basically they'll ramp up and they hit whatever design uh, for heating, cooling uh, speed they need yeah. uh, to move the air. And all this does is the air handler's running, it ramped up. And if the zone starts to close, rather than it trying to ramp harder, mm -hmm. this bypasses the air and it maintains the static pressure. So it awesome. works. Works. Awesome. Well, that's great information, Phil. And again, you have the ability to talk to people like Phil here at Jackson System. We got plenty of these in stock. Yes. We, we also have some uh, systems that don't require bypass. If this stuff scares you and you don't want to deal with it, guess what? We got you covered. That's right. Uh, <laughs> As I, as I mentioned, there are some applications where you simply can't get a bypass damper in. Now, there's two things you can do. You can adjust the zone dampers to mm. leak a little bit. Ooh, yeah. About 10% in each zone. Yeah. Doesn't really affect uh, the zones from uh, overheating or overcooling. But the important thing is, is to prevent air noise. Right. If you have a if you have a two zone system in a home or even a three zone system, mm -hmm. and you simply can't route the bypass damper because of the way the plenums are designed, or you yeah. may have a return coming down, and a supply going up, and you can't even get a bypass damper between right. the two, um, you can adjust the zone dampers for minimum position air, and you do that really to reduce air noise, so hmm. you just don't hear noise. If you can't do that, then the newest technology, which we'll talk about later, <laughs> right. is the total elimination of a bypass damper with our ESP system. Right. And uh, we'll get to that at a later date because too much information yeah. today, folks. Awesome. Well, hopefully we'll have you on for there. But uh, Phil, thank you for coming on today. Uh, hopefully you guys learned a lot. Please feel free to contact us. Our toll-free number is 888-652-9663. Check these products out at the Jackson Systems website, jacksonsystems.com. Yep. I'm J.D. Brake. Phil Kimball, thank you for watching Field Engineering. 20. See you next time.
Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to smack that like button below. And if you want notifications on brand new videos that are coming out tailored just for you, be sure to subscribe right here to the Jackson Systems YouTube channel. Now, if there's some videos you missed, you can always check it out right here. Go ahead and click. Subscribe. Other videos. Like. Do it.